Life is governed by a series of codes, a set of rules handed over by the ancestors. Oh, okay, scratch that. The code is the code. Simple. We sisters live by a set of codes, a set of rules that are just unwritten, unspoken, unshakable. The number one rule is never break the sister's code. Is it right? Well, don't even make that face at us. We didn't make the rules. Welcome to Sister's Code. On this episode of Sister's Code, we talk about how to navigate being a side chick. Never get pregnant. Pregnancy, Bele. If you get pregnant, what do you think is going to happen? You don't have to get pregnant for someone else's partner when you know very well that you're the side chick. Except you have some grand plan where he leaves, you know, the main chick and then comes to be with you. What if he decide not to be? It will not be on you and your family. Please, no, don't. You should know the rules now, you're a side chick. Feel that the best way to keep a man is to get pregnant for him. Now, don't put that pressure on yourself. Never. Ever. Always use protection. Especially when you are now a side chick. Don't get pregnant for it. Someone else's partner when you know very well that you're the side chick. How seems? Never get emotionally attached to the guy. I feel like being a side chick is a business. I understand what you can give and what you can, you know, get back. I know it's not easy, especially when he's giving you right. Says the right thing at the right time. Except you're ready for the consequences. He's not going to ditch madame for you now. It's not going to happen. You are watching a plant. It will grow. Understand your position. And even when guys get emotional at you, and you cut yourself away, you're a side chick. Whatever you have to do, take it on a low and just enjoy it while it lasts. Don't catch feelings. Don't love Never make the main chick your business. For example, I'm the main chick. Don't make me your business because really the main chick shouldn't be your business. Just enjoy the partner. The only times when she's your business is, okay, when is madame in town? Or is she going to clash with my own movement? Stay in your place. Cool down. I'm not gonna ask you to go and accept being a side chick in the first place. Just enjoy the flow while it lasts. Don't go around snooping on what she's doing, where she at. If you're finally being a side chick, then own up to it. Carry your side chick crown. The guy should not come to you and meet you. Ah, my wife did this. How is that my business? So far, the guy already has you. Stay on plan B, but don't come and be saying that bitch, because she's not the bitch. <laughs> you don't know who the bitch is, anyways. You are even sharing with someone without permission. Ah. Never go out in public together. You can go out in public together if you're a good actor. Except of course you want some acid on your face. If you're good at hide and seek, my friend. Even if you want to go out, maybe you should just go out at night when you know no one is actually seeing or looking. Be lovers, you know, in confined areas. Try as much as possible not to go to where people that know him or people that know you are. If you know that, when you meet Madame or like you meet Madame Star, you can just do, ah, oh, good afternoon, I'm his cousin. Because when you are caught, <laughs> me, I'm not there. Trust me, you're going to get really hot. You don't want to know what's going to come out of it. If you want to go out, maybe you can go to Paris or something. For safety reasons, keep it toned down. Low key. It's a no. Never divulge anything about the relationship to anyone. Psychics love to talk about their relationship. Your situation is not exactly a soap opera. Flourish in the knowledge of your secrets. The way things are going now, you just need to tell somebody about what's happening. You know how girls can be sometimes, like very selfish. Let them know that, you know my boyfriend though, I'm the side chick. Before they start posting, relationship goals. Make sure that it's someone that can actually keep your secret. It doesn't change the fact that you're probably dating someone that's married and then you are still the side Thing. Don't go around spreading it that that's my guy. You don't want someone to pass it on. Don't make it a public matter. Just keep it to yourself and enjoy it. Do what is best for you. Upgrade. If madame should catch you, anything can happen. Sometimes it's not safe. Don't go about saying, okay, I'm with this person, I'm with this person, I'm with this person. No. Leave the side to sit or you know, be the side mama. Don't go around just telling anybody anywhere that you are in a relationship with this guy. He's not your guy. Someone else's mind. Don't. Remember, some rules are meant to.